guys, Zachary Livingston here, and about a month ago I unboxed the white OnePlus 6, and I managed to get a red one this time. So I thought I would unbox it and get it on video and start working on my next video, which would be the iPhone 10 versus the OnePlus 6 camera test. So jumping in, going over the phone, I am super impressed with the red version of this phone. I really like the white one, but the red just pops and it looks so good. And I have to commend OnePlus. Credit where credit is due. This is a really good looking phone. And at such a good bargain price. Quickly recapping the specs. This is running on the latest Snapdragon 845, coupled with a good looking 1080p display. And yes, that is OLED. Making it smooth in almost everything you do. No frame drops around the interface, maintaining that 60 FPS. The OS is light over, and Oxygen OS just really knows how fluid an, an Android phone should be. It's not a heavy UI over stock Android, some of the downsides I would say would be the cameras. They're good, they're just not particularly great. Um, again, this is a flagship level phone and we're coming in at a 500, almost $600 price tag. So I am sure that they are trying to cut costs in certain parts of the phone. Not to say that the camera is bad at all, The 4K at 60 is held down really by the Snapdragon 845. So you only get five minutes of video recording when shooting at 4K at 60. However, the quality is decent. And just like Apple, I believe OnePlus is using EIS instead of OIS, which really seems to smooth out the video decently. Photos seem to be a hit or miss. They miss some details and are really oversaturated compared to something like the iPhone. However, that is a personal preference. Remembering that this is half the cost of the iPhone 10, it does hold its ground really, really well. So in my next video, I am going to compare the cameras between the iPhone 10 and the OnePlus, just to kind of give you a feel. I really think OnePlus has held its own when it comes to performance, and the performance is really, really awesome. So the next way I see OnePlus evolving is getting really, really awesome camera. So here in just a second, I am going to play a video straight from the phone. So as you can see from this photo, the rose looks really crisp, good colors. Here the sky, the clouds are captured really, really well, and the water is captured really, really well. The greens pop, and that's okay, and some stuff looks very realistic and real to life, and some does not. Some is oversaturated, but that is okay. That is literally all your personal preference. So thanks guys for watching and stick, stay tuned for my next video, which would be pairing this up against the iPhone 10. If you have any questions for that video, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon, and I will see you guys next time.